Hi guys, so today I filmed my room tour and you know, it's like really awkward. I felt like, I don't know, I have so much weird crap in my room that like I, it kind of just starts to look like a hippie mess in here. And you know, that's kind of what it is. Also, I'm underneath my loft bed and it's really dark underneath here. I was going to put some lights up in here, but like I didn't want to accidentally like move and then it break or something, you know? Also the shirt, you can kind of see my ass, but like, you know, it's, it's a little uh, risque. Um... And so, yeah, um, if you want to make a comment about that, like, you're probably childish or something, or just really young or something, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, so yeah, um, let's get on to the video, I guess. Okay, so starting off, this is my door, and then it leads into my room. Okay, so here's my room, and then my dog was in here when I was filming this, so yeah. But over here we have my wall, and there's some shirts on there, and then this stop sign we like stole from the beach, um, which like is a little illegal. And then I have these two shirts, because I thought like, I don't know, I thought they were really cool, and like they kind of like were parts of my life, so I just kept them and stuff. And then um, the one's from when I was Mormon, but I'm not Mormon anymore, which you'll see a recurring theme of that. And then I have those two vegan shirts, which are really cool. And then that stop sign, it looks so tall because it has like this extended thing to it. And then right next to that, I have my closet door, which um, my closet, it's like okayly organized. Like it's not that good, but um, yeah. So over there, I have like my swimsuits and like fluffy socks are in there. And then my cat's like cat food's in there because she stays in my room and stuff. And then I have a purse in the back. And then back there, I have like skirts. And then um, I have a romper. And then behind it, I have a dress and then a jumper. And then there's another black dress before it. And then there's this red romper, which I wear the red one a lot because it's really comfortable and it doesn't look like too dressy and everything. And then down there I have my pajamas, which on like the top drawer, it's like the spaghetti strap kind, you know, of tank tops. And then, um, then there's like regular t-shirts and shorts and pants to go to sleep in. And then I also have my suitcase over there because I'm going to Wisconsin soon, but I'm not going to visit Abby because, um, there's just like not enough time and everything because I have to get registered for school. And so over there I have my laundry basket. And then in the back I have like, um... Like, it's, like, winter clothes because I'm not wearing them right now and everything. So, I just thought it'd be easier to have them down there because, like, I can't see anything down there. So, it's easier. And then I have these three boxes, which one has underwear and then one has, um, like, um, bras. And then the last one is socks. And then next I have my shirts, which they're, like, kind of in color order, but, like, not really. It's, like, whites to rainbows to blacks. And then in the way back, I have, like, one pair of shorts. I don't know where my shorts have gone. Ever since we moved, like, it's just all messed up. And then also I have, um, like, my pants back there. So, you know, that stuff's kind of, you know, sketchy. Um, yeah. And so there's my dog again. Next we have this dresser, which is really ghetto and stuff, but I don't know. So I have my cat's food up there just because, like, it was just, like, up there. And then that's Jocelyn. She's, like, part of a gang. That's why she's got the little eyebrow slit. But, yeah, she's a mannequin I got for cosmetology, even though I didn't get in. And then we have this, like, little head thing that my sister made. And then her other thing that she, like, left here. And then this is, like, um thumbtacks and then a vase my friend gave me. And um, there's also a candle because, you know, it's just, like, kind of fun to have candles in your room. Like, it makes you feel a little wild. Okay, but, um, yeah, so this is the first drawer. I just have, like, really random stuff in there. I have, like, a laptop case and then the, um, like, a little carry-on bag. And then, um, I have my cat's toy. And then there's, like, a little storage thing over there. And then also there's an umbrella, like, I don't know, for rainy days. I don't, you know. And then I used to keep my hair ties in there, but I don't really know what to use it for now. So I skipped that one drawer just because there's nothing really interesting in there. But, yeah, a lot of these clothes in this dresser are just, like, clothes that don't fit us or, like, we just don't want to, like, get rid of yet because like I don't know sometimes you like like things later on and then that's another these two drawers are my sister's stuff because she didn't really have any space in her room to put it and then this last one's my stuff but I have this little drawing notebook on there and there's like this really obscene kind of vulgar drawing in there um as you can see I probably shouldn't have put that in the video but sorry Abby um but yeah those are the clothes that I just don't really know what to do with so they're in there um but yeah so there's my dog again a recurring theme the next I have this chair which is it just has this random blanket draped over it, and then I made this pillow in um home ec class so I thought that was you know pretty snazzy but yeah um yeah so um next to that I have my like windowsill which I got these shells from the beach and so I just put it on there and then I have that flower my friend made something but it came off 
And then that's some more, like, fun stuff. And then I have these two, like, little charms. You're supposed to give one to someone you love, but I don't really have anyone right now. And then I have a charm that my mom gave me, which I thought was cool. And then a shell and then a rock I stole from a restaurant because I'm trash. And then next we have kind of the hangout area, but um, over top of, like, the um, the ladder area type thing, I have this little scarf that my grandma got from Thailand or something like that. I can't really remember. And then it covers up this ugly wire that leads up into the loft bed. And then um, over here we have my salt lamp, which um, it's not on because it's like broken right now because the the light bulb broke. But we got this one light bulb, but then it didn't work. And so we just didn't know what to do. So we had to return that because we thought it was the same size, but it wasn't. And then over here I have this like jewelry thing, but I just keep shells in it. I have like a bunch. And then over there I have my like lava lamp, but I don't have it on because it gets really hot really easily. And then I have this cat statue because I don't know. I just thought it was cool. And then I have these two piggy banks that are like those banks at Alcatraz. Um, which I think Alcatraz was at like one prison or something like that. It's like in the ocean area. I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah. And then over here I have these like, like, it's just like random stuff. Like I have my jewelry in there and then I also have, um, like makeup and stuff in there. So like just stuff I'm not using or like stuff I don't really know what to do with. So on this next drawer, we have like these three hair clips and then there's like two tweezers and stuff and um, just like a little charm thing on there. But this is just like electronics and like random crap like that. So that's just kind of what I keep in there. Okay, so next we have like this area and I have my laptop on there and then me and my sister have these two like gold notebooks, which um, the colorful one's hers and then the black one's mine, which is like kind of depressing, but whatever. So in this next little block box, I have like just like beauty stuff. Like it's like random stuff. Like there's like contacts in there, catnip, hair stuff, you know, just like all like the weird stuff, hair brushes, combs, um, like creams and stuff. That's vitamin E oil. And then I also have my B12 in there, which I don't take that often. I take like more of like a multivitamin, but yeah. So there's just like weird random crap in there that I just keep in there because it's easy to have in my room. Also on that box, I have like um, some jewelry. It's like all random jewelry and stuff. And then below it, I have, like, um, just, like, books and stuff. We, like, lost some, like, a piece to this little organizer thing when we moved. So I have to have all these books down there. But they're, like, just books I don't use. And then there's also, like, notebooks and crap in there. But, yeah. And this is, like, my tapestry over here. It's, like, really big. It goes all the way down and stuff. And then I have another tapestry on here. And then my cat's litter box is under there because I thought that's a good place for it. This is, like, the chill area, you know. You can chill out down there. And then this is, like... Um, just like this little table next to it. I don't really use it, so I just kind of put that thing on it. And then here's the ladder up to my loft bed, which I'll show you up there, which is actually like really boring. But yeah, it's just like a normal bed. And then I typically don't go underneath this because it's just like a lot of work to remake the bed. And I just use that blanket over there. And then you can see like the top of the tapestry that goes down. But yeah, I want to work on getting some like little like um drawings up there because I think that'd be really cool. But yeah. And then I have a tapestry covering that window because my um my blinds broke. And then I'm going to show you some of the highlights of my memory wall. So this is a picture of me and my friend on Christmas. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then um, I just have a bunch of Christmas cards and like vegan stuff. And then there's a Christmas card down there that I got from my uncle. Um, but we don't talk to him very much. And then I also had that Mormon um, little like thing that they gave me, which I thought was really cool because I don't know. I keep a lot of stuff from the Mormon church, even though, you know, I'm not part of it anymore. And then that was a dress code violation. I just thought it was funny because I got so many of them that year. Um, and then there's this ugly picture I drew of my sister, you know, like sisterly love, you know. And then I have a lot of vegan stuff on the wall, of course, you know. And then I got this like honor society thing, but I only joined so I could trip on stage because, you know, I, I, I don't know. I want it to be funny, but I don't think anyone else thought it was funny. I just think they thought I tripped. Golly, where's and then I got this like certificate because um I completed this one thing and then I made this and this because I don't I just thought they were funny and stuff so I was like mm, but whatever and then we have this German exchange student and then she gave us that thing and then I have more vegan stuff and then another Mormon thing so we have a lot of recurring themes in this and then I have some pictures with my mom and other crap that I made and then my friend was in the talent show one time so I thought that was kind of cool, so I kept that. And then we got that when we adopted Miss Kitty, so I was like, mm, I have to keep it, you know? I have to put it on the wall. Because Miss Kitty's such a good cat. And then also, this, like, hubcap has kind of a funny story. I don't really care about cars or anything like that. But I just got it because one time I was at my friend's house, and I wasn't supposed to be there, and I was walking home. And I just saw it on the ground, and I was like, I should pick this up. And I was talking to Jacob, and he was like, yeah, you should pick it up. And I, so I just thought it'd be, like, kind of funny. And then there's Miss Kitty again. 
And then down here, I really like this like little license plate I found. I found it on the ground. And then also, I've never been to Hawaii, so I'm kind of a poser, but I just thought this poster looks really rad, so I got it, but yeah. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you like the video. And, you know, I'm sorry it took so long to make because, you know, I've been sleeping a lot, you know. Um, I'm sleeping like 14 hours a day and, you know, I don't think that's healthy. So I pulled in one nighter and, you know, that's not healthy either, but it's what caused me to film this video because, you know, I was really bored. And so I got my shit together and filmed it. So that all nighter you can say a thank you. But um, I was going to say in this, I went through this whole video without swearing, but I didn't. And, you know, oops, but the words are going to be blocked out. So yeah, but thanks for watching. Bye.